What's going on guys? This is DeWobblefet, here with a mechanic short about a few niche mechanics with a match resolution timer. If both players run out of time in a game, the winner is ordinarily determined by who has more Pokémon remaining, then by who has the greater percentage of total HP remaining, out of the total HP of all Pokémon brought to the match, then finally by the actual total HP itself. If everything is tied, then the match is a draw. Concentrating on that second comparison, recent discoveries have shown that this percentage is not calculated with a lot of precision. The proper way to calculate the total percentage of HP is with the following formula. Multiply the sum of all current HP by 100, then divide by the sum of all total HP, then finally floor the result, which means to ignore the decimal. For example, consider this team of 18 HP Clavopus with two 191 HP Gyarados, fighting against a 14 HP Clavopus, also with two 191 HP Gyarados. I'm doing my testing here in singles, but the timer behavior is identical in a proper 4v4 doubles VGC match. These Clavopus are intentionally low level to deal a fixed amount of damage with Seismic Toss. My level 4 Clavopus uses Seismic Toss once to deal 4 damage to the opposing team. My opponent's level 2 Clavopus uses Seismic Toss 4 times to deal a total of 8 damage to my side. Summing up my side of the field, I currently have 392 out of 400 total HP, which is 98% HP even. My opponent also has 392 HP on their side, but this time the denominator is lower, only out of 396 total HP. 392 divided by 396 ordinarily comes out to be 98.98% repeating. However, after I speed through Gyarados using Splash a dozen times or so, you can see that the match results in a tie. Again, this is because all the game does is multiply by 100, then it ignores any remainder that might still be hanging around. The game says that both sides have 98% HP, and it knows that both total HP are also the same, so the match ties. This behavior was exactly the same in Generation 7, and probably the same all the way back to the original Black and White games. In Generation 8, Dynamax was thought to throw a wrench into these calculations, since you get extra HP from Dynamaxing. However, Dynamax has no impact at all on timeout situations. You always use base HP. To see a trivial example, suppose both sides brought the exact same Pokémon with the exact same HP stats, and both sides dealt no damage to each other at all during the whole game. Then, one side Dynamaxes right before the timer runs out. Clearly, both sides are at 100% HP. If boosted Dynamax HP was being taken into account, then my side would clearly win here as I have more total HP than my opponent, with the 2 times Dynamax added on top of it. But in fact, the game ties. Let's take a look at a more nuanced example with the same team. I'm using a rental team here that you can find a link to in the description of this video. On it, I am bringing in a Moongus with 220 maximum HP, a Zacian with 199 HP, and a Zapdos with 197 HP. The Moongus is holding a Focus Sash and has the ability Regenerator which will restore one-third of the Amoongus' total HP, in this case 73. If I damage both Amoongus down to their Focus Sash, then switch them in and out twice, both Amoongus will be at 147 out of 220 total HP. Then, at the end of the game, I Dynamax my own Amoongus again. Reviewing the math, my opponent's team has 147 plus 199 plus 197 current HP out of 220 plus 199 plus 197 total HP. Applying the formula from earlier, this comes out to be 88% by the game standards. But suppose that we are considering Dynamaxed HP for match timeout resolution. Then my side will need to replace the 147 and 220 with 294 and 440, which causes the percentage of HP to drop down to 82. 88 is bigger than 82, so the non-Dynamax side should win here. But no, as you can see, again the match ties. This demonstrates that, just like for effects like Leech Seed or Sandstorm, base HP is used when undergoing calculations for match timer resolution, not Dynamaxed HP.